Now we can depict a change in demand uh, in this graph by simply a, uh, a movement uh, in the curve. That is, uh, you have the demand here that is determined given uh, forces. But you can have an increase in demand. That is, the demand can go from uh, go up, and this would be an increase uh, in demand. If you have an increase in demand, what this means is that the quantity that people were willing to buy at any given price goes up, and it does so all along uh, the curve. By the same token, you can have a a decrease in demand, which will be represented by a, a leftward downward shift in the uh, demand curve. In this case, uh, people are willing and able to buy less of the good uh, at any given price. At a price of P2, they once were willing to buy quantity Q2. Now with a decrease in, uh, in demand, uh, they're willing to buy uh, quantity uh, Q1. I guess I should also say that when you have an increase in demand, uh, consumers are willing to pay a higher price uh, for any given quantity. Here in the old demand curve, they were willing to pay price uh, P2 for quantity Q2. Now they are willing to pay a much higher uh, price. When the demand decreases, uh, then they're willing to pay less uh, for any given quantity. Uh, when the demand was here, the consumers were willing to pay as much as P1 for quantity Q1. Now that the demand curve has decreased, they are willing to pay only P2 uh, for that uh, quantity, uh, Q1. We might uh, note that um, uh, the demand can increase because consumer uh, tastes for the product have increased. It could be that demand increased because the number of buyers increased. And it could also be that we're talking about the demand for apples here and suppose that the price of pears uh, goes up. If that's the case then people will, might uh, uh, substitute uh, uh, apples for pears causing an increase uh, in the uh, demand curve. By the same token uh, this might be the demand for uh, DVD players. If the price of DVDs uh, of DVD uh, discs goes up uh, then that might, people might want to uh, uh, buy fewer DVDs. They can need fewer DVD players and the demand uh, for the DVD players uh, can uh, shrink. Basically, uh, uh, the law of demand means that uh, if uh, the price goes down, the quantity demanded will go up. If the price goes uh, up, the quantity demanded uh, will go down. Economists are uh, pay a lot of attention to the law of demand for a couple of good reasons. First off, they want a theory of price determinations, and it's always good to focus on the price-quantity uh, relationship in that endeavor. Secondly, economists have a, a, a great deal of reason to have a considerable confidence uh, in the law of demand. Uh, they know from uh, observation of the real world time and time again uh, that if the price goes down, consumers will buy more of it and, and uh, vice versa. They don't have that kind of confidence in the uh, income quantity uh, relationship. If people's incomes go up, you might expect their demand for most goods to rise. If the, if, uh, the good is uh, golf balls and people's income rises, uh, then you might expect the demand for golf balls to rise. But suppose you're talking about the demand for uh, beans in a low-income neighborhood. Uh, when in fact the people's incomes go up, uh, uh, then they might in low income neighborhoods, consumers might in low income neighborhoods decide to buy uh, fewer beans. That is, they can substitute uh, uh, meat for beans. So when the income, their incomes rise, uh, the demand for the good uh, can go down. Uh, thank you very much for being with me.